All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Intel Nook. All right, this is a boxnuc 7 i 5 bnh all right? And then the regular Tori model is NUC7i5BNH. Okay, anyways, um, I'm just going to be showing you how to get to the SSD and the RAM. Okay, you're going to be using a PH2 or JS2 screwdriver to remove the screws from the bottom. Technically, you don't need to pull them out. Just twist it until it clicks. And we should be good, all right? So do that till it clicks. All right, the cover only goes in one way. So once you get that, you can kind of use the screws to kind of grab and lift this cover off. Okay, you can see how this is notch here. That's how you know it lines up because there's a notch there. And then there's also two notches here that line up over here. Okay, that's what the inside looks like. This is just going to be quick. All right, so there's a, we put a two and a half inch SATA SSD in here. Um, you can put four screws to hold it, but I only put two here. Okay, and I'm just gonna show the quickest way, all right? You wanna switch to a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove these screws if you're removing them. All right, I'm just gonna take it out and then put it back real quick. There you go, so if you have four screws, take all four out. Once you get all those screws out, then we can go ahead and slide the hard drive or SSD out. You gotta lift this whole tray up. Okay, to slide it out, just grab this and pull it back, just like that, and that's how you disconnect it. If you wanna take it out, just take it all the way out, all right? I'm gonna slide this back in. Make sure this connector lines up with the connector there and then push it all the way. Okay, be careful not to bend the thing because you don't wanna end up breaking the connector off your SSD. And now we can get the screw in. If the hard drive or SSD falls down, you have to hold it up so it presses against the, um, I don't know what you would call this, the casing or whatever, right? And then go ahead and tighten that screw down. Once you get one in, you should be okay to get in the other one. There we go. All right, now that we got both of those in, we can go ahead and pull this up again. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna do a simple way, so I'm not gonna take everything out, but if you really wanted to, you can disconnect the SATA data connector here and then the power connector there. They have all these little cables, which again, I'm not 100% sure what they're for. Wireless card is um, part of the main board. Um, the antennas, if you wanna take them out, you go from the tail and pull them straight up, but Again, I'm not going to mess with that. It looks like there's an M.2 PCIe NVMe slot here. So if you want to use an M.2 SSD, you can. Okay, and then there's two slots for RAM. Okay, the RAM is just like every other computer. You pull the two tabs to the side and then the stick will pop up. Okay, just like that. And then you can go ahead and pull it out. And I'm just going to put it back in because we just want to, I just want to show how that works. Okay, there's a little yellow jumper there. Um... I'm assuming that's to reset the BIOS. It says BIOS SEC, so I don't know. Um, okay, then there's the power switch on the front here. Okay, and it looks like the button is right there on the board. Hmm. But the button, this button is jammed. Oh, actually, no, it works. Okay, felt like it was jammed. Um, I don't know if I see anything else in here to kind of talk about. There's that little rainbowy connector here that goes to the front here and I'm not sure what that's for it looks like maybe an, a light or something maybe there's a, a sensor in there for an infrared sensor or something and there's another small connector that goes to the side here that looks like a microphone so anyways we're just going to put this back together I just wanted to quickly show what's inside I think these two holes on the sides might be microphones but anyways, let's go ahead and put this back together. That's pretty much it. Quick, simple, at least to put in the SSD and the RAM. Line that all up, push it back, and you can see the screws stick back out. But anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, Please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right? If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well because that's what the algorithm likes to see. I also have another channel called It's Been Reviewed and More. Same profile picture but zoomed in. Um, I just put my review videos there. I also put them on this channel at the moment, but um, I'm hoping to eventually just put them all on there. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, let's drop the spike.